there's a new type of uh, invasive pest that has been discovered in the Commonwealth, and agriculture officials say that it could impact some fruit crops. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellotti talked to some local experts about the new bug you should be on the lookout for. Mark Woods, who owns a peach crop in Boone's Mill, isn't thrilled about a new bug in Virginia. Lantern flies. No good at all. Uh, it's a very, a very bad bug that's got introduced in an area that shouldn't be here, but you know, it's part of the game. It's part of you know what we got to deal with now. Eric Day of Virginia Tech says the invasive pest called lantern fly could damage not only peach crops but also the grape and orchard industries, and it could spread across the Commonwealth. Well, we have our first hatch of spotted lantern flies, so they overwinter active uh, in the tour nymph stage. Day has been working to put out the lantern flies in the Winchester area, where the insect was first detected earlier this year. They are a yield reducer for farmers, so it cuts into their profits. The first U.S. detection of the insect was in 2014 in Pennsylvania. Well, in Pennsylvania, they see a, a yield reduction of grapes from four tons per acre down to a ton and a half per acre. Woods describes how much damage the insect can do to his crop. Oh, it does so much damage because it's stinger. It, it lays its eggs actually in the fruit, and it's got like it looks like a hacksaw blade um, on 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 the stinger part of it. It'll lay eggs and lay eggs, and it just keeps laying eggs. It'll pick different fruit and keep going and stuff like that. So, while putting out the insect is preventable, it's just one more task farmers might have to deal with. In order to protect his peach crop, Wood says he plans to buy traps for the lantern flies just in case. In Boone's Mill, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you.